Hello, my lovely Pisceans, and a very warm welcome to your birthday forecast. Happy, happy birthday. And what a big month this is, with Saturn changing signs, with Mars moving sign, with Pluto changing signs. It's big. It's explosive. It's life changing. So let me break it down for you, lovely birthday Pisceans. On the third of the month, Mercury will come into your sign, shining a light on communications for you to speak out about what is important to you, especially in your relationships. For you, sometimes you sort of just go along with things and you think, oh, well, you know, it'll work out. This Mercury energy is encouraging you to speak up and to speak out as clearly as you can. You're going to do it quite gently anyway, because that's how you are. And you don't like rocking the boat very much. But this Mercury energy will help you uh, to get things clear, to iron out cobwebs, and to maybe ruffle, unruffle feathers if needed. Now on the seventh of the month, we've got a full moon in your relationship area. So big focus upon you and your relationships. And wherever there is a full moon, it shines a light on this life area and says, take a deeper look. So maybe there's something coming to fruition in a relationship. Maybe there's something that needs to change in a relationship. And this refers both to your personal intimate relationships and your business relationships. So think about this area and resolve to make any needed changes. Then huge news, on the 8th of the month, Saturn comes into your sign, where he will stay for about three years. Please do not panic. This can be the best thing that's ever happened to you. Saturn is a great teacher. So it's really good at correcting things, helping you to correct things that are no longer working for you in your life, things that aren't making you happy. So it can mean an end to a toxic relationship. It can mean an end to a career that you've not been enjoying. But it also can bring new opportunities to create a new foundation, to plant seeds, to create things that are new, that are healthy and that do raise your frequency and bring more meaning to your world. So there's always depending on how you choose to use these energies, but it can bring you stability in areas of your life where you've never had stability. It can bring that to you. It's also a very good time for working on your physical health and physical well-being and having in place structures and routines that really work to keep you well. I'll be saying more about this, of course, in the months to come. Now, on the 17th of the month, Venus will join Uranus, see Daisy, in your third house. This can bring unexpected meetings with people, synchronicities, nice connections, surprises, online or offline. It also is an opportunity to learn or study something that you really enjoy, that you love, and to put your heart and soul into it. Then on the 20th of the month, Mercury will move into your second house. And on the 21st, we'll have the sun there as well as a new moon. So as we move through the month, lovely Pisceans, we get this lovely focus on the second house of money and finance. And this is new beginnings for you financially a growth phase potentially, new opportunities, new possibilities, new connections. You might be starting a new business. You might be launching a product or a service. You might be um, rekindling some of your amazing talents. You're incredibly talented. There's always more talents for you to explore and enjoy. So this is a wonderful conglomeration here to do with your finances, your self-esteem, and your gifts and talents. And on the 24th of the month, big news, Pluto is gonna change sign. It's been in Capricorn since 2008. It will go into your 12th house 
just for three months until June. Then it'll go back in the 11th for a few months until the end of 23. And then it'll go back into the 12th until 2044, 20 years. So that's a big, big, big shift. So, and it's also most noticeable as it makes this transition. So the months of sort of March, April, June, July, December, January are going to be big months as you uh, adjust to the shift in frequency. So Pluto in your 12th house. Well, this brings through a tremendous amount of power from the invisible realms. So if you love the metaphysical, if you love psychology, if you love anything that is unseen, the astrology, the stars, the channeling, anything that takes you into that zone where you really got to tune in and develop your intuitive knowledge, this Pluto is going to help you immensely. You're going to find inner power through solitude, through quietness, through alone time. You may well write those books, produce those films, do some really powerful things. And you kind of work in the background. But as you work in the background, you gain such a lot of strength. You're able to present yourself in a totally new way to the world. It's really strong. And once again, I'll be talking about that in more detail as the months go by. And on the 26th of the month, Mars will come into your fifth house of romance, of love. So that opens up some possibilities there. It's wonderful for starting a business doing anything entrepreneurial and anything creative and anything with children and also putting energy into having fun and feeling joyful. It's a very uplifting house, the fifth house. So there you have it, my lovely birthday Pisceans. I thank you very much for liking, subbing, commenting and sharing. Happy birthday. Bye for now.